Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gaming Network, and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, Star Wars Destiny, uh, the brand new game that's just come out from Fantasy Flight Games. Uh, well, I say just come out, when I post this, we've actually only had the pre release event, uh, so I've had limited chance to play with this, which is why I'm going to call this as a, an initial impressions type video. So, uh, first of all, the components, the bits and pieces you get in it. Well, I've got the starter set here, I've got the Kylo Ren starter set, there are two starter sets, uh, villains and heroes, um, and what you get in the box uh, for the 12 to 13 pounds as you'll pay for it in the UK is pretty good. You get 24 cards, um, a number of dice, I think it's nine different dice in there, and um, it's certainly enough to get a real good feel for the game and how the mechanics work, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, now, I know a lot of people, are, were, when they first looked at the dice, those look like sticker dice, they aren't, okay? But what's really nice about these dice is they're actually quite a good size. When I first saw them, I thought they looked too big. Uh, and actually, after having played with them, you kind of need them that size so that you can be seeing clearly what's going on because you're constantly looking at these dice and trying to work out what you're going to use them for. So the size that they've made them is, is actually I think about right and they certainly feel really nice and chunky um, and very sort of satisfying to, to, uh, to play with. So components wise uh, with the other bits that you get in here it feels like a classic FFG good quality again there's no skimping on any of this stuff here okay your tokens are great and really nice and clear um, you, the dice are great and the cards well, I've actually sleeved these up but the, these cards are beautiful uh, go online check out those um, check out the other artwork in, in, in the cards because they're really quite fantastic um, so components wise I've got no issue with this Mechanics wise, um, initial impressions are, it's really good, <laughs> really, really good. Um, it's quite hard, I think, for games that are coming out like this to really feel like they're innovating and doing something different that doesn't feel like it's been done before. Um, now, the two guys who designed this, so Corey Konichka and then Lucas Litzinger, um, Lucas uh, uh, designed the, the, the new version of Netrunner, uh, the classic Richard Garfield game, and he did a great job with that, and I think he's just bettered himself from a design point of view, quite possibly, with this game. The flow of the game is super fast, super quick, with lots and lots of decisions to make along the way. Um, so, uh, each action that you take is a very very quick action. It's it's not like many many uh, other CCG type games, where you will have long combos, you know, where turns might take a couple of minutes to sort of work out. There's none of that at all whatsoever. The play is really fast and furious. So one player will play a card, which almost always has a simple effect, and it's done. Probably the, the most uh, sort of wide-ranging effect might be something like re-roll all dice. Well there's probably only at most six, seven dice in the pool at any one time and it's a case of picking it up and re-rolling them. So the play moves really quickly back and forth. You play a card, another person uh, re-rolls a dice, uh, it comes back to the other person, uh, they play a different card, uh, it goes back to the other person, they resolve one of their dice. All of these actions are happening really quickly. So it, the game really ticks along at a nice fast pace, and there's there's a it doesn't feel like there's any downtime in this game. There's no long waiting for your opponent to work out um, the results of an action. Uh, early on, you might get a little bit of analysis paralysis because, as I said, there is a lot of decisions, um, but they're all fairly they're all fairly simple. Um, so it's not like there's lots of complex things you're trying to work out in advance like in you know some of our more well-established CCGs. I think it's really great. It really flows brilliantly well. Uh, and in terms of uh, theme, I'm a big sucker for theme. If you've watched my other reviews, you'll know that. And again, this has 
really solid theme. FFG are, are, are really doing very, very well with making sure that their mechanics and theme really marry well. This is another game where this happens when um, you have Kylo Ren and then you add a, a lightsaber onto him and then you add uh, maybe one of his force powers on like a mind probe or an immobilize and these cards are bringing new dice onto that character so that when they then get to activate it feels like they've really grown in power uh, and that feel of rolling more dice when you activate a certain character because you've upgraded them and given them new powers and equipment um, it's very it's very visceral it's very real and it's it's very immediate um, the opportunity for really cool builds in this game I think is one of the more exciting things uh, that, I'm, that I'm finding about it so as I look through the card list and there's some, I think there's 180 cards in the base set um, you can really put together some, some, for some fantastically cool decks and what's really great is that uh, the way you construct a deck is it's only 30 points worth of characters and each uh, and that means you're probably only going to have maybe two three or four characters in the game because you pay per dice that you take and uh, special characters like Count Dooku or uh, Vader or Luke or whoever they will be able to take up to two dice and you pay for each of them but these more uh, sort of non-unique characters your stormtroopers rebel troopers those kind of characters where you can only take one dice of those for, for one card so when you put together a team, uh, it's quite small. And then your deck is only 30 cards. So when you put together uh, any deck, it feels like you're only getting to use a small portion of potential cards that you could have in a deck. It makes each card slot really, really important. It makes you how you evaluate those cards really important. But it also means that if you have eight characters that you've opened, well, you're probably going to use two or three in a typical deck and suddenly it feels like there's lots and lots of variety even if you don't own a huge number of these cards um, and that's where I'm going to end my initial impressions thing on with this game I love the components and mechanics when it comes to the collectible side of things I know that this is something that well initially put me off most definitely uh, lots of us feel like we don't want to be collecting another new game um, it's got to be really good if you're going to sink any sort of money into a, a game system. And I guess the question is, after my initial impressions, does it really feel like this is something that's going to be worth getting into? And, and I have to say that my, my very honest answer is, I think there'll be a lot of people who might leave this for quite a long time and then really kick themselves. This is... This is a, I've been playing games a long time, 20 odd years now, and this is a super solid game. The, the mechanics are really great, the theme's really great, the components are really great, the artwork's really great. The experience of playing it is brilliant uh, at this stage, this early stage. So I think getting involved early, getting in on the ground floor as you might say, um, is absolutely going to pay dividends in this game. And when it comes to the collectible side of things, I firmly believe that you aren't going to need to invest massively unless you're a collector and you've got to have all the cards. Uh, there is a, a slight issue in the fact that if you want to play your unique characters, you need two dice. Because then that means you've got to open that rare or that legendary twice or trade for it, for that second dice. And you've got to a useless card there but that really is the only sort of redundancy that I can see in the game uh, after that you are opening packs and having lots and lots of options to build your decks with and there's a lot of cards in the first set um, there are 15 legendaries there's something like 40 rares yeah that's a lot of cards to try and get hold of um, but I think it's only going to be a problem if you're a collector because building a deck isn't the same as building a magic deck which is 60 cards uh, with super competition to get hold of the cards 
Um, this is, you only allow two copies of any card in your deck anyway, and it's a 30 card deck. And you might bring, as I say, two to four characters to the game. So you're not going to need to get hold of massive amounts to have a really competitive deck if you decide to go down that route. Uh, and if you don't and, it keeps, and you keep it casual, I think this is brilliant for casual. Again, because you don't need to get hold of loads of it to have a really, really good, fun, interesting and thematic game. So, so there's a few of my initial impressions about it. Uh, I'd really encourage you to try it. It's a low barrier of entry at 13 quid for a starter set and the boosters are three pounds with a dice and five cards in. Um, so you can quickly, for pretty cheap, get together a bunch of stuff and, uh, and be able to build, I think, a fairly competitive and certainly very fun deck. Star Wars Destiny, I think this is going to be around a long time. Initial impressions from other friends who've played it, they're really liking it too. And there seems to be a massive amount of depth available with these mechanics. So it's a thumbs up, go try it.